Hello guys, welcome back to another video. This is episode 3 on air compressors and I have given the first and second episode in this i button, information button. If you haven't seen it, uh, you can navigate through this one. Let's start from the basic. What is bumping clearance? It is a clearance given so that the piston won't bang into the cylinder head. And why this clearance is given, bumping clearance? is given for the piston to expand when the compressor starts running how this bumping clearance changes over time most common thing is if the gasket is of the wrong thickness at that time the bumping clearance might change suppose uh, you have to take out the delivery valve uh, and overhaul it at that time for some of the air compressors the whole head has to taken out so that when you box back everything at that time if you put a gasket of wrong thickness or if you over tight and skews the gasket there is a chance that uh, bumping clearance may get altered other reason that uh, may change the bumping clearance is the wear at the crank pin bearing if this is the case then the piston comes down and the piston can hit the head during the unloaded condition but this type of wear can be easily identified as the compressor makes banging noise in the unloaded condition now the third thing that may change the bumping clearance is if we are on the main bearing. If this happens, then the whole crankshaft comes down and lowers the piston, which also leads to increase in bumping clearance. In case if there is opening, we can use with the filler gauge. For that we have to put our piston in the TDC and check with the filler gauge that they have provided. The other one is dial gauge method. And the most convenient method is the lead board method for this for this method take a lead wire from the engine store and make a small ball based on the expected clearance and put it in between the piston and the head from the valve opening then the piston is slowly turned to the top dead center with the help of a tommy bar after that the piston is again turned down and the lead wire ball is extracted and the thickness is measured with the help of a micrometer this measurement would give the bumping clearance in this method the clearance of uh, clearance of the main and the crank pin bearing has to be taken into account for that we have to put our piston into tdc and connecting rod it must be jacked up with a crowbar then only the correct bumping clearance will be obtained now how to adjust this bumping clearance one is to change the gasket thickness and make the clearance within the acceptable limit specified by the manufacturer and the second method is if, if the bearing has worn out adjust with the gasket temporarily if there is if the bearing has worn out change the bearing and if there is no bearing then we can adjust with a temporary gasket and fix it as soon as you get bearing and the other thing is uh, you can add shims but if it's if it's a marine palm type connecting rod then only you can add shims otherwise if you put it in between the uh, pin there will be a problem for a hydrodynamic lubrication so you can only put shims if it's a marine palm type connecting rod the diagram is given in the link you can check it so how much the clearance should be normally it will be given by the manufacturer but as a thumb roll it's uh, it's 0.5 percent to 1 percent of the bore of the cylinder now most of us must be knowing what happens if the clearance volume is less. Yes, the piston bangs onto the head. Now let me ask you this. What happens if the clearance volume is excessive? The short answer is the volumetric efficiency reduces. If you ask how, then suppose the clearance volume is more and after the delivery high pressure air is trapped inside this clearance volume. So in the suction stroke, the air must expand below the suction pressure which is ATM pressure so for that the piston has to move down even further thus there is a loss in the effective suction stroke that leads to less volumetric efficiency and the last thing I would like to say regarding this uh, episode is that the while maintenance if it's a belt driven air compressor then you have to take care of uh, your body like if it's a belt driven there is a high chance that someone will put the finger in between the belt and the drive so that high care should be taken in order to avoid it thank you guys and 
have a nice day